Ensure the wedge clip is fully engaged by squeezing the top and bottom together. After removing the connector's dust cap, insert it into the visual fault identifier. Place the 2mm or 3mm clamp 10 inches from the end of the cable. Slide the appropriate boot onto the cable. Using the strip length template, mark the fiber at 60mm. Now strip off 60mm of the cable jack. Using the strip length template, mark the fiber at two locations, 25mm for the first mark, and secondly, the connector mark of 15.5mm for an SC-ST connector, or 11.5mm for an LC connector. Now, strip off 25mm of the buffer and coating. Clean the stripped fiber to remove any coating elements. Set the fiber onto the cleaver so that the coating's edge is between the 10mm and the 11mm marks. Now, cleave the fiber. Insert the cleaved fiber into the rear of the connector until the mark on the fiber aligns with the rear edge of the connector and the wedge clip's red glow dims. Push the fiber toward the connector to make a slight bend. Squeeze both sides of the wedge clip to activate the splice, then remove the wedge clip. Remove the VFI and reinstall the dust cap. Divide the Kevlar evenly on both sides, then screw the boot on halfway. Trim the excess Kevlar using the Kevlar scissors. Now thread the boot on tightly and the termination process is complete.